Roll for Crit presents how to play Choose Your Own Adventure, House of Danger, in five minutes or less or more. Choose Your Own Adventure is the narrative game series based on the classic books, in which the choices are yours. Designed by Prospero Hall and published by Z-Man Games. In Choose Your Own Adventure, you'll experience a story given to you across a series of cards. These cards are grouped together in chapters. As the game begins, you'll have access to the current chapter's story deck and clue deck, plus a couple of starter items and the game board, which features the psychic scale and danger meter. The back of the main board features a nightmarish premonition, which players should study for two minutes before playing, as it could give you some hints about your adventure. As you play, you'll discover your goal. If you manage to complete that goal, then you've completed the chapter. To start the game, read the chapter one card to yourself or out loud if you're playing with a group. When you reach the end of any given card, you'll be given a choice of what to do or where to go. Each choice is associated with a different numbered card. So once you've made up your mind or come to a consensus as a group, you discard the current story card and search through the deck for the card with the number relating to the choice you made. Be careful not to look at any cards you haven't reached yet when digging around for that number. You can leave the book cover card on top of the deck to help. Once you've found it, you or the next player in clockwise order can read that card and repeat the process again. Some choices are better than others, leading you in the right direction while others can result in harder challenges or even bad endings. If you reach a bad ending, you'll be instructed to lower your standing on the psychic scale, go back to the previous card, and try again. Think carefully about your decisions. Certain cards will instruct you to take specific numbered clues from the clue deck. Some clue cards represent items that you find along the way. Some of these items can be used to aid you in challenges, such as the pocket knife. Others can be used for different effects, as is the case with the water bottle, which allows you to alter the danger meter. Others are story-related items, the uses of which may not be entirely clear to you at first. And the other type of clue card you can come across is an actual clue. These jumbled images represent psychic premonitions. They'll warn you about danger lurking behind upcoming choices if you can decipher them in time. Outside of reading and making choices, you'll occasionally come across cards that pertain to the psychic scale and danger meter. The psychic scale begins with the psychic mover at the number three space when the game starts. As the game goes on, certain cards may tell you to increase or decrease its level accordingly. Some cards may even offer paths or information that you can only receive if you have reached a high enough psychic level, so you'll want to keep improving it. The danger meter begins with the danger mover at the number three space marked with an arrow and comes into play during challenges. At times you'll be asked to perform a challenge, which could represent any number of events in the story that you'll be attempting to overcome. Some challenges are optional while others are mandatory. A challenge involves rolling a single six-sided die. If you roll a number that is equal to or higher than the current number that your danger mover is at on the danger meter, then you succeed at the challenge. If you roll lower than that, you fail. The card will tell you exactly what happens in either case. Sometimes your danger meter will increase, making future challenges more difficult. If it ever reaches the top, you lose two points from the psychic scale, then the danger mover gets reset back to the starting three. If you choose to do so, you can activate one item during a challenge as a challenge booster that will add to your die result, making it easier for you to succeed. However, there are different types of challenges relating to strength, dexterity, and other traits. Only an item with the matching symbol can be used. Rolling a 1 is always an automatic failure on a challenge roll, even if you have an item increasing your result. And if you roll a 1 while using an item, that item is discarded and you can't use it anymore. Once you've progressed through the story and completed your goal, you'll be given the option to return to very various points in the chapter to try to complete sections you missed or failed at. However, when backtracking, you cannot regain cards that you already gained and discarded, cards you've already seen can't affect your psychic scale or danger meter, and you'll need to keep playing to reach the chapter goal again before continuing. When you're finished with a chapter, you can move on to the next one, including brand new story and clue decks. Between chapters, you'll retain all your current clue cards, and the positions of your psychic scale and danger meter stay the same. Keep playing until you've gone through every chapter and experience the full game. In conclusion, read, roll, sense, choose your own adventure. House of Danger. That's it in a nutshell. Did you get all that?